Hello my dear friends, myself Professor Dr. Rajendra Deshpande, we are in the serial Let's the Ayurveda Knowledge Mix Viral to spread it very quickly, very fastly and nook and corner of the world. Today is the 13th of March 2019 and this is my really third video. I am very fortunate enough that I can make a third video of 10 minutes and the topic will be Nirukti or etymology of the word Mala. As you have already understood that Dosha, Dhatu and Mala, Bioenergies, Vata, Pitta, Kapha, Rasa, Rakta, Mausa, Medha, Asthi, Majja, Shukra, Seventy Shoes and Mutra, Purisha and the Sveda are the three Malas. Dosha, Dhatu, Mala are the three important body constituents. They are like the roots of the trees. Dosha, Dhatu, Mala, Mula, Mi, Shiriram. So, in this session, I would like to talk about Mala, waste products. Many of the people, they get surprised why there is an importance to the waste product. After all, they are waste. One has to throw them out. What to talk about debris? But I think in India, at least in last few years, we are talking about Clean India Movement. Launched by our Prime Minister, respected Pantapadhan Narendra Modi and that's why we are aware that cleanliness is very much important for the maintenance of the nature, for the maintenance of the nation, for the maintenance of the city, for the maintenance of the state. Not only that, cleanliness is a godliness. Cleanliness is a godliness. So cleaning is very much important for each and everything on this earth. Similarly, our human body also needs to clean off the waste product. Day to day, there is a respiration, there is a circulation, there is a digestion, there is a hormonal secretion, there is a brain functions and in each anabolism and catabolism, there is a plus and minus. So whatever the waste is generated, they are categorized in a three levels. One is a solid waste part, which is called as a stool, feces. Second, liquid waste part, which is called as urine or the mutra in Ayurveda. Third is also the liquid waste part, that is sweat, that is called as sweat in Ayurveda. These waste products, when they are in optimal quality, optimal quantity and optimal function, they are definitely helping of our body. They are cleansing, they are detoxifying of our body. As you know, that the worship of God is very important. So, there should be worship place, meditation place in our house. Similarly, we should have the wash basins in our house. Similarly, there should be exhaust fans in our house. Similarly, there should be WC that is the toilets in our house. Unless and until we have the wash basins, exhausting fans and the toilets, our house cannot be said at a complete house. And as you know, if our wash basin is excessively flowing, excessive running water, then we are get disturbed. If the my water stream for the tap water is not proper, I get disturbed. Oh, what a shit! this particular flow is there. If my tap water is leakage, then I also get disturbed. Same is the case with the toilet. If my toilet is jam, is obstructed, my pit holes are not very working, very sanitation system is not good, then foul smell will spread throughout the house and our emotional, physical, mental health will go down. That what I mean to say such an infrastructure is essential in our house. Similarly, our excretory system made up of urinary system, defecation system and sweating system should be in a proper order. If they are not, what they will do? That is the nirukti of mala. Mala word, how it is derived? Malini karnat malaha. Malini karnat malaha. Mala, when they are properly excreted in a proper amount, at a proper time, we are happy, we are healthy. 
but they are warning you if you don't take it me serious urine is saying take my proper care stools are saying take my proper care sweat is saying take my proper care if they are not these malas urine stool sweat mutra purisha sved what they will do they will do havoc they will do what a destroying condition of our body which is called as malini karnath malini karnath means they will make your whole body as like a rubbish system malini karan is destroying making your whole body waste rubbish shit your whole body systems are in a shit condition your whole organs are will be in a shit condition if your urine stool and sweat are not taken care of excess urination as everybody knows diabetes mellitus it's a problem if their patient is not passing proper urine anuria oliguria less passing urine due to the chronic renal failure then what will happen the waste product which is called as a urea what is that urea urea is a waste generated during the time of protein metabolism remember my words urea and that urea is passed through the urine so when urea in that is urine very interesting urea in urine but when that urea is not passing through the urine where it will go that urea will remain in the blood urea when is not going out through the urine where it will remain in the blood and that condition is called uremia very 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 dangerous condition remember my word uremia e m a a amia means blood when there is urea in the blood that is called as uremia and uremia the patient can go into the unconscious state sometimes coma and he may die if it is not properly treated so this is a so serious condition constipation looking very casual we can treat the constipation but i know the patient who are suffering from the constipation how they suffer this is a constipation is a less coming out your fecal matter is coming less but when it is excess that again the fetal condition diarrhea loose motions same is the case with sweat if the people get lot of sweat on the hands and palm they come to the doctor doctor i have a lot of perspiration do something for me but if the sweat is very very less when it is needed when it is indicated take the example of summer very hot sun is there you must perspire there should be sweating vaso dilatation takes place and sweating occurs and your inner body heat goes out but if in the hot sun if at all your body mechanism heat controlling system has fallen down your brains where there are centers they are damaged because of the excessive heat is like a fuse off electricity is off what is happening that is called as heat stroke remember my word heat stroke and that heat stroke can be fatal so simple sweating mechanism can also make the patient die simple uremia can make the patient die simple dehydration due to the loose motion can make the patient die so before we get our systems fall we get our systems blocked let us make a awareness regarding the importance of this malas because waste product should be in optimal condition otherwise malini karnat malha they will make our body system rubbish and shit i think you have understood the importance of mala in this video session thank you very much my dear friends have a nice day ahead thanks a lot